Well, anyway, so you're going to go to Q+. Plus. Right, right. So Q+, plus, that's also a topic brought up in the uh, time, travel, Trump time travel series. So first, I believe that the man that God gifted with knowing how to harness torsion field energy, which is 369, for time travel, would have used his discovery for the benefit of humanity. Sorry, sorry, Jesson. Let's pause one second. John Tito comes to 129 Judgment Day. Oh, sweet, sweet. There you go. Which is October uh, 29. October slash the zero. So anyway, sorry, buddy. Can please continue. Okay, good, good. October 29. Uh, so I'm going to uh, say that again, that I believe that the man whom God gifted with knowing how to harness tortoise, torsion field energy for time travel would have used his discovery for the benefit of humanity. And that man, of course, is, is Nikola Tesla. And though that one version of Tesla was allowed to die in our in our timeline, I believe he'd already gone back in time and brought back a younger version of himself that would live on into our current time period. All right. Mm -hmm. So if I'm right about this, this means that the White Hats have full use of Tesla's time travel technology under his supervision. And when I say White Hats, I'm speaking specifically of both the 17 team and the top military intelligence personnel that Juan is always calling the guys in Cheyenne Mountain. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's skip right into the Q plus theory presented in my time Trump in my Trump time travel series. The theory was born from being shown multiple older versions of President Trump. First, right in the 8chan post, and then by Trump himself using his Twitter banner. Then also American Profit Channel was airing pictures, these pictures of an older Trump. And uh, Dan Scavino has also included at least one in his tweets. I don't have a Twitter or Telegram accounts. I just, you know, these things are handed to me on a silver platter and I get to see them. So uh, three of these older versions of Trump are shown in my Trump time travel series. They're featured in there. Like here's, here's this picture of them. Here's this picture of them. Here's this picture of them, you know, each one. Mm -hmm. But a fourth has been spotted uh, this year, again, thanks to American Profit Channel. And he was sitting directly behind Trump at an event that Trump was speaking at. So there are, in my opinion, there are four different versions of what I call Q+. And let's say that each, each of these versions is known internally as Q plus number one, Q plus number two, Q plus number three, et cetera. And doesn't that sound just like a James Bond script? Yeah, it does. All right. So how could the White Hats benefit from using Trump as a time traveler? Now, Juan has told us that the 17 team's location is Cheyenne Mountain. And I believe this is where Nikola Tesla is. And that he's, he's been told running, us that. Okay. Yeah. He's been running the time travel operations from this Cheyenne Mountain base. Wow. Here's, here's how it could work. At an appointed time after Trump was fully read in on everything going on. He was sent one day into the past to retrieve Q plus number one. Is that clear? He's basically getting himself from yesterday and then they bring and he becomes Q plus number one. They bring him into our timeline. All right. Huh. That makes sense. So he just goes back to one day in time. Right. Because that person, that version of Trump would have been read, read in on everything. They don't have to brief him. They can send him immediately for his mission. Okay. Right? And why is it just one day? Because, like I said, you don't want to go far back because he needs to know everything that Trump knows. 
Okay, so basically you're duplicating yourself by going back one day. Right. Okay. Okay, so Q plus number one was then sent one day into the future. Huh. And that puts him into an ever so slightly different timeline. However, the intel he has is still completely relevant because if you, if you know anything about John Titter, he came from 2036 into our timeline, and it was still, it was like, you know, 1% off from his, and that was enough to where everything that he knew would still be in place. Like, his grand, it was still his grandfather that was involved in helping design the 5100 uh, computer that he came to get. You know, his parents still lived at the same place. It was, you know, he was seeing himself as a two-year-old playing in, in the, the, the uh, what are those things called? They put kick, play pad, play pit, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The crib, crib thing. Yeah. So uh, 1% is not enough to whack things out. You could still be, intel that you had could still be completely relevant in that much of a shift. All right. So they, they took him from the day before, Q plus number one. They sent him one day into the future. Q Which gives him obviously a slight edge. Right. Well, it, it, what it does is it keeps him out of this timeline so that yeah. he's not, you know, because they're going to do this more than once. They need each of these ones to be in their own separate timeline. Yeah. So okay. he's protected, but he's totally relevant as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Q plus number one would then lived out 25 years in that slightly different future timeline to gather intel. He lived 25 years into the future to gather and tell. He lived inside Cheyenne Mountain. He oh. wasn't out and about being a, a, you know, a real estate mogul. He was Trump with all the knowledge that Trump has, but he was living inside in Cheyenne Mountain because his assignment was to become a subject matter expert on one topic. So whatever that topic was, as he lived out his 25 years inside Cheyenne Mountain, top military intelligence were feeding him information on that one subject. Is that clear? Yes. And so what do you believe the one subject was? Well, it could be uh, different things like... Uh, one might have the subject of uh, military strategies, including space force operations. Uh, another one might have uh, political strategies, you know, based on the, the environment as it changes and shifts. Uh -huh. Okay, so let's, now uh, if you're up to speed, if you've been watching my channel at all and you're up to speed on how time travel works, you understand that no matter how long the traveler is gone, they've only been gone for one second in the timeline they left from. Yeah. So when Q plus number one's 25 years were up, he was sent back to our timeline. And when he returned to Cheyenne Mountain one second later, he was placed under strict white hat protection, witness protection, and began showing up at various Trump events where he could easily be seen by those with eyes to see. And the first place he was seen was with the QAnon baby. Trump went on and on and on about, look at that beautiful baby. And when you look right past that baby, you're going to see Q plus number one, right in the front row and two I call them Secret Service agents, but whatever they are, they're his protectors right on either side of him. And that was our first sighting of a Q plus, and it was right in the 8chan post. Wow. With the baby up front and him in the back, him in the background. Okay. So before I go on, I, I must give a shout out to the American Prophet channel because he was the first to post images of these older versions of Trump, which got me, 
you know, those gears turning about because I was already studying about time travel. I was, oh, oh, how do these older versions get here? And I started, you know, putting those pieces together. So, you know that that chap, American Prophet, he knows something. He's he's some type of insider. Mm-hmm. So at, at this point, I've been able to spot four versions of the older Q plus who are back from the future, which means the same procedure I just described has been used at least three more times since the first one I was talking about, the QAnon baby one. So perhaps Q plus came back as an expert on military strategies. You know, Q plus number two came back as an expert on political strategies. Q plus number three came back as an expert on financial strategies, you know, things like this. And when they came back a second later, they, they gave their information directly to the 17 team there inside Cheyenne Mountain one second after being sent into the future. So now it makes sense how the 17 posts were always five steps ahead and were able to say future proves past. Wow. That's incredible, Justin. Okay. So uh, also, one more thing. Uh, Most will agree that there's at least one extra current version of Trump who appears to be coexisting alongside him in our timeline. And uh, that was done the same way. Only They just allowed him to stay here in this timeline. And and I say that because I want to make it very clear that there are no clones of our president. No clones were made of our president. That type of activity is not condoned by our creator. And the White Hat team does everything according to the rule of law and God's law. 